the second think, screen. Which is why I have up now. Um, oh. I don't even know this works, but what's up? Is there both being rendered right now? Yes. Yes. Can you see? Yeah, you yes. can. Okay, cool. Um, it's doing the lens thing again. Second screen rendering, not with the. Yeah. I always, I always feel like I'm just gonna do this. So, <laughs> hey guys. So there was uh, some artists that I was uh, looking at. The name is Elgron Kamako. He does like these sort of uh, plastic looking dudes and they're super fun and cool and I really like the materials on them, they're very plasticky. That's, that's what I'm trying to go off of and uh, do it super colorful and happy. Today at four o'clock, we are going to make sure everything, everyone gets stuff in the game and uh, we're going to try to play it and see what it's like. Uh, I don't know. How's everybody feeling? Everybody's really quiet. Is it because their cameras are here or is it because we're looking at a broken game? Is the camera? I was, there's a strong chance we just go down a rabbit hole on basic bugs and I feel like this, like, I feel like that demonstrates amazing progress. So, can somebody write down? I have my laptop over there uh, and Trello's open. Can somebody write down um, get physics working on the hands as a task? Probably be under the whole get physics working. I mean, do you, I, it seems like it's a. It, it seems like all related. Yeah. Well. Okay. Do you? All right. Well, then you'll get both tasks. And you'll be able to do both of them at once. It'll be very exciting. <laughs> yes. Do 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 do. All right. Oh, uh, physics. I don't know. How they're like, uh, yeah, like latex kitchen gloves. Yeah. Kind of that thing. Actually. Oh. <laughs> Rusty, everybody loves your hands. Your hands were very. They were all comely. Your hands were soft and shiny. They were. Everybody thought your hands it's like were they great. Made of gum. That's right. It's funny. Eat them. I don't think we're massively ahead of schedule. Um, we're right where I'd like us to be. Um, and we'll see in the next couple of days if that starts sort of falling behind. Like I said, I'd like to have that that first test mini game in by you know midday Monday so we can start actually playing the game. Um, and we'll see if we get there. That's where I think it's going to start to get a little bit more complicated. I went through earlier and I've got sort of a stack of tasks in Trello that's like all the stuff that I'm hoping we get done today and most of that stuff got done today. How's finalizing that list been going so far? I haven't done it at all. We've got probably two days of work on getting what I'm just calling the test game. Like we basically want to implement a game that's just like very straightforward and understandable. As a general thing, we need to debug our player start consistency. We'll figure out what's yep. going on with okay. that. Yeah. I love Rusty's hands. I just need to look at that and... Just go hit that button with a hammer. With a I, hammer. You can't, get, gonna, you can't get close get, enough. I'm not going to get close enough. Uh, did you detect fun just now when you were playing the game? Were you like, I'm having fun? No, not yet. I mean, not, not, any more, not any more than you get by sort of base VR interactions. Like, being in VR and holding a big floppy thing is like, yes, that's fun. Like, that's not anything new or different, you know? That's not unique to the game. Um, and so I think... It, I think the thing I'm waiting for is when we actually get the sort of social fun of people outside of VR yelling at somebody in VR who's doing something ridiculous and they're laughing back and forth. We're getting there. Got a little floppy, little floppy fly swatter. Oh, it's, it's like jointed. It's like, it's weird. Yeah, it does. It does. It does need a little. It's turning into like a spatula burger flipper thing. Oh boy. And then it, yeah. We'll get there. Yeah, I mean, it's funny with, with building prototypes, I always feel like there's a stage early on where you have like prototype fun, where the first time anybody recognizes any amount of fun in the game and it's so exciting and fresh and new, you're like, oh my God, our game's fun. And then like two days later, you're like, that was not very fun at all, actually. That's, and it, you sort of plateau and realize you have to have to push much further to get something that people outside the team will really be excited about. Um, which is also why I'm excited about this game being so play test driven. Once we get it up and running, we'll need to have lots of people play it. Uh, and so we will have, a, any wake up calls about what we're making, um, we'll get those pretty fast because they'll be like total randos, not total randos, our lovable coworkers will be playing our game and giving us quality, stern feedback on the product as we go. So, it's fine. Um, I have to leave today and tomorrow at five uh, because my wife is out of town, so I have to pick the kids and feed them and all the rest of that stuff. Um, I will be in on Sunday just trying to do catch up and work ahead. All right, day two. Yep. Steve's good. Okay. Steve. Steve, you're good. <laughs> yeah. So, it seemed like a good day. Had a pretty productive meeting in the morning. The meeting this morning was very productive. What is Asif? Asif is talking to Levi right now. Levi. Oh, oh, okay. Sorry, guys. No, don't worry about it. So angry.
<laughs> um, yeah, I guess we can just go through this first one. Uh, and then, you know, stop me if anything sounds crazy to you or like, we can't do that or I have an amazing idea for how to do this. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, just starting with the uh, shrimp car wash. Uh, oh, sounds crazy to me. Oh, All right, <laughs> meeting's over. Uh, you start at the ingredient station in the back, carry it, grab the shrimp, carry it to the machine. A hook would come around and as you got closer to it, the wireframe shrimp would appear on there so you would know like, oh, if I walk up here and like hit X, whatever, it'll just like, you know, uh, teleport the shrimp in there or it'll like, place it. The meeting this morning was great and I feel like now everyone sort of has an understanding of like what our most complex tasks are. It has to be, I mean, you gotta keep in mind that like this is something that also needs to be communicated to like a TV audience. So they need to be able to like, that sort of stuff needs to like read on camera or like to the people in the stadium. So like it needs to be very apparent. Jumping on the bellows is something you need to do. So like we wanna like give the player an opportunity to like jump on there and just experiment and see what happens. Do, is weight gonna matter for the bellows, by the way? Um, yeah, you like, don't want like, if you jumped up higher, it, it does this faster or... Oh, actually, yeah, that would be good. <laughs> I mean, I don't... Yeah. <laughs> Uh-oh. Yeah. That's the hard one. Right. <laughs> so, You're it it's the other stuff. It seems big and it seems ambitious, but I also know that we have kind of backups on like how to pull back from that. It like goes in there and then automatically pops into the the broth bowl at the end, mm -hmm, just like, mm -hmm. you're so cool. Oh, man. And there's like a rainbow behind it. <laughs> <laughs> so, are you gonna do a bit of party pooping? Um, no. Sure. Getting melee stuff like that to feel satisfying takes some time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, this, I feel like we can get halfway there by either doing a quick camera cut or some more effects on the screen, some screen shake and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like, if we start there and then feel like, oh, well, you know, we kind of need more, um, more complex punching, sure. then that's something that we could do, but I, it does add more stuff. Mm -hmm. Without, like, one. I, I think you're right. When crazy ideas come up, um, you, you, you want to give a, a certain amount of dose of like, wait, I'm not sure if we want to do that, but you don't want to do that too much because then it really stems like uh, the creative output, especially at the beginning of the project, and like that's, that's not a good way to go either. <laughs> Ooh, you've been waiting to use that one. <laughs> Again, it's day, what, two? Two. Hey, two. I feel pretty confident day two. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see what happens. Now I feel like everyone knows what they're doing, and everyone's just sort of off and doing that. Uh, I still have a lot more to do. Like, tonight, I have to make like a complete prop list because they need to jam on that really fast because um, we have so much to make and we've only got one person doing it. Um, like Paul is just like working himself like crazy. He's doing a great job, but uh, you know, there's, there's a lot to do and I, I really feel that like he needs stuff from me as soon as possible, so. Maya's really being a pain in the ass right now. Just, what's wrong with Maya? So slow right now. <laughs> Like, do we jump, for instance, in this game? But I don't know. No. No. Okay. So see, I like that. No. No, no jumping. I just turned no. it off. Like, good. Twenty minutes ago. There yeah. we go. <laughs> jumping is out. Then I like it. The A button. So we now we can use the A button for like interact. There you that go. Sounds like an impressive brainstorm. <laughs> <laughs> jumping? No. <laughs> what happened today? Uh, just looking at my notebook to figure that out. Um, we had um, we had a meeting about the player mechanics for the game. Fires a projectile, or you swing it to, to bonk stuff with it if you're close to it, right? Yeah. So it so it could be contextual. How about uh, a very simple, non-modifiable stamina bar and a sprint? I was just going to say sprint would be. Well, I said it first. Yeah, I mean, you can take credit for it. But <laughs> yeah, I was going to uh, say. It's it's, it's, unique, it's, it's yeah. a unique idea. <laughs> yeah. uh, and more more progress on getting the genetic reproduction simulation working. What is it going to do is, I was actually going to use... <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I was actually going to use a... I think it works pretty well. Um, or it's in, I think it's going to work pretty well. I'm hoping to start toying with that and see if it's giving me results that, that look like what I uh, want. Um, and figuring out how much ability we have to tune that 
reproduction behavior. Devin was telling us that there was like a simulation system to sort of just really simply calculate how generations could play out. And that's Here what it is. you've been working yeah. on. And it's working. Mm -hmm. uh, now I just need to like run uh, a few more, a few more generations to see if whether whether the distributions are appropriate. Mm -hmm. And at that point, the basic, the, the basic generation of generations is, is done. Mm -hmm. um, after that comes the, the really the, the really complex part that if we want to have the species interact with each other, mm -hmm. and that part we already know that is very complex. This species relies on this number and also on how much of this other species exists. One day you might have killed all, all the sheep. Next day, the wolves are also gone because they have no food. Mm -hmm. uh, and you basically only have uh, fruit to, to deal with. Mm -hmm. Then the game's kind of boring, but I mean, you kind of did it to yourself. Mm -hmm. And the question is, do we want to allow mm -hmm. that, you know, the, the, that boring scenario? I'm, I'm enjoying this, you know, uh, stuff like uh, evolution and just like having uh, different traits and, mut and having them mutate, it's, it's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. um, I, and I know that it's nowhere near, um, I, it's, no, it's nowhere near either real genetics or real genetic uh, programming, mm -hmm. but it's so cool because like, it's like the very, very, very high level uh, concept uh, of evolution is the same. Mm -hmm. You know, it's like, well, keep iterating and if you don't have any changes in the environment, things should stay more or less the same, like shift a little bit here, or, or have very slow gradual shift, but not in any significant uh, direction. So, no, it's pretty cool. You subconsciously wore that shirt today. Well, it is one of my my X number of shirts, so I mean, it does go into the rotation. So it was a coincidence, a coincidence that it uh, went on today. The actual generation of, of, of the creatures and, and the generations and all that, I feel, yeah, that can work. Uh, the gameplay of going around uh, selecting the creatures, that's the part that's that's harder to get going because we need to decide how to make the traits easily distinguishable to the player. Cool, pretty good, man. How are you? I'm good. <laughs> cool. Where are you at right now? I'm in New York in my kitchen. This yeah. was what we were thinking for the spaceship so far. Yeah. It almost looks like a fortune cookie. Yeah, it's actually Anna's purse. <laughs> <laughs> it's basically like, tried to get, it's basically the idea is like Mr. Potato Head, so. Yeah. So they'll be kind of base models, and the idea is that they'll have all different traits, evolutionary traits. Yeah, so some of them might have like okay. hair, yeah. like an alligator fish skin, and they could all have these spikes. That's the idea, basically Mr. Potato Head. Cool. Hopefully, <laughs> you know. Anything else, Paul? Killer. All right, Bagel. All right, cool guys. I'm gonna shrink you back down here. Killer. Five minutes, Derek. That's all the time I have to talk? All the I could go for like an hour, man. <laughs> yeah. A lot of stuff happened. It yeah, cool. uh, yeah, it was good. Well, I wasn't sure what to expect. Uh, I've never made a game like this at all. Mm -hmm. uh, never made a multiplayer game, for one, and I've never made a game that relied on physics at all. And uh, I've, well, I've never made a game, really. I've, I've been a concept artist, not a game. <laughs> so I'm just kind of going in and trusting the people that I'm working with. You said you had a change here. Uh, yeah, I'll get that in right. Yeah, um, I mean, right now uh, we're st still taking what was in Derek's head and first creating, you know, solid things that we can work on from that, basically pulling it out into tasks. And, um, and meanwhile, like every day, we make a little bit more progress on the game and we readjust our direction based off of, you know, what indications that's giving us. A really awesome brainstorm meeting. That was a really good brainstorming meeting. I wish we could do like half, even like 10% of that stuff. <laughs> it, it felt yeah. like the features were just kind of like pouring out. Yeah, if you, if, if you will, yeah, yeah. How do you guys feel about like having there be like an objective about carrying water versus just trying to destroy the other teams? There was some water. Water was essentially like a like a like the flag in a CTF map, right? Like there's a fountain that has water and you yeah, grab Yeah, there's it, a fountain or a waterfall in the center. And you grab it and then you have, yeah. to, you have to get to the fountain and then get to their base. And then get and to their base the and dump it. I like the idea though of the water just sprays in the air and falls. And <laughs> you just if stand you have around. a big open oh. hole on the top, you can yeah. catch a lot of water, but if it's a little yeah, one, yeah, you're, but if it's like that, you're not gonna get it. So you, you just have people running around trying to catch water. You just have like a bar that like ticks up. 
and, and the size of the, yeah. the opening. Yeah. That's so if true. You have a, yeah, a if you big have... pot, you rush under the waterfall, instantly you're filled up. But if you get knocked over, you just spill it all back out. Yeah, the, the bong wins again. <laughs> <laughs> the idea starts with one person's experiences and knowledge and, um, and you know, creative influence. And then when there's a team working on it, you then get everybody's ideas kind of coming together. And that person helps filter it. You know, I wouldn't pressure anything that Derek wasn't comfortable with. So we're kind of building this tree of possibility space of where all the possible games that could be made from that core idea. And he's trimming the tree as we're going. Um, and uh, so it's, it's fun to explore that. I also, I, we got to do this, this image of uh, having my head of, of the guy barfing it out. <laughs> like you can just empty it whenever you want. Yeah, yeah, you could fill the other pots. Like you could dump all your water into oh, another yeah. guy. Oh That's man, it goes back to my concept art. I always wanted to use it, but I didn't know how. <laughs> oh, you know, if you got damaged, right. So like you're about to crack open and you're like, yeah. hey, teammate, come over here. Barf. <laughs> <laughs> that'd, be, that'd be awesome. Probably can't do it, but uh, it's a... Uh, it's still, well, yeah. If it's, they bring it up and they get excited about it, yeah. they have to They have to it. do it. It's a good thing we have uh, two months to make this. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> I don't think oh, you man. really <laughs> Matt, but. but I like the momentum that we've had so far. Um, I worked with Derek on Amnesia Fortnite in 2013, 14. 14. And, uh, and on that project, Derek had a great uh, thematic representation of the game, but not a whole lot of design committed to paper yet. And uh, ultimately, I was very satisfied with how that project ended up, but we floundered a little bit at the, at the beginning. And it feels like on this project, everyone has uh, you know, started out full steam, and uh, they understand the concept very well. Our meetings are very productive. And, um, and so we can get out of them quickly. And, uh, and everybody has something to do. And so um, I think we'll have the bones of the project done um, in a few days. We'll have combat and multiplayer. And, um, and then we can really work on adding some flair to it, adding in some of those optional features. What's happening over there? Um, I bet Chad is getting the multiplayer up and going. If he's down the hill, <laughs> the other guy can jump on top of him. Yeah, that's super cool. Awesome. Good work. Yeah. But they're on the same team. Right. Ship it. Yeah, yeah. serious, yeah. Just walk away. One versus one. <laughs>